and welcome to CCIAdvisor.com. In this lesson we will be discussing how to create a .1Q trunk on a Cisco Catalyst switch. So let's go ahead and get started. We do have the parameters set up on the switch that's on the other side of the Cat5 cable and we're using Fast Ethernet 016 on both. Now uh, what we're going to do is go into enable mode which we've already done the pound sign and type conf t which is um, short for configure terminal and now we're in configuration mode let's go ahead and type default interface fast ethernet 016 now this can be gigabit 016 it doesn't matter now be careful that you're using the right interface when you type that command or you, could, you might lose connection to the switch itself um, so we're in we've uh, cleared the interface of all configuration and now let's go ahead and set it up for the dot one q trunk so we're in interface fast ethernet 016 We're in, we're in interface configuration mode and we'll go ahead and type switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q nothing left to do but a carriage return now it's still set up for dynamic so what we need to do is we need to hard code that so we'll type switch port and we want to set what what we want to set is actually the mode mode right there mode so mode to trunk okay now it's always good to do a no shut and to verify so for me off the top of my head what I would do is type the um, show interface trunk command so let's type end show interface trunk now if it doesn't show up right now that means there's something wrong it might be layer one it might be the other side um, who knows so let's go ahead and see what okay so show interface trunk it's showing that fast ethernet 16 the mode is on which we hard coded we did the same exact commands on the other side native VLAN is one because we haven't defined another one and we're allowing all VLANs as you can see VLANs allowed on the trunk is 1 through 4094 which is all of them and we have 1, 18, and 19 because I have configured 18 and 19 specifically for other classes that we've had, other lessons. And so that's working perfectly. So I appreciate you joining us for this lesson on configuring a dot one q trunk here at CCIAdvisor.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.